if you take a normal hand drill, this is the easiest way to do it. When you have a hand drill, you hold the drill in your hands, uh, facing the direction where you want to put your uh, attachment to it. On a normal hand drill, you have a forward and a backward. What it means, when you want to drill a hole, you press forward, you push in. If you want, for example, to screw a screw into the wall with a hand screw, you push it forward. It goes clockwise, away from you. But they all have a button which you can reverse it, which means you try to take the screw out, which goes anti-clockwise or unwinding. Put your drill onto anti-clock, which is unwinding position. Put the bar which you want to produce, if you can open it, we should be able to open it. You put your bar in the drill, which you tighten it. You put your copper wire into the grooves, some whatever way you can um, tighten it that it stays in the jaw of the uh, drill. And once you've done that, you're all experts. I'm the most lousy guy with the hand drills and these things. Even I have done engineering, I always hate tools. So what do you do? You tighten your bar, your copper wire, and all you do, just switch it on. You start the first rotation with it as it goes. If I can clip it, this is a very fine because we don't have a gauge 14 with us here in the center. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tighten it a couple of times so that it has the body to be gripped. All you do, you turn the machine on and let it run away from you. And that's all you need to do. This is how you call it clockwise, anti-clockwise. That's how you make your swing to coil. Very easy. You make it tighter as you like, you can make it open as you like. But now we've answered all the questions. How do you make it? If it's a right hand screw or a left hand uh, clockwise, whatever. This is how it should be. This end is your, this end which is towards the machine where we started, is your gravitational or if it's your center core, is the input, and the other end is the output. As simple as this. So, all this misunderstanding about the magnetical and gravitational is result. If you look at the wire, it looks as it's clockwise, but it's actually winded anti-clockwise. It's as simple as doing it this way. So, a lot of you who had problem with this, you see it, this is what is called anti-clockwise because when you look at it from the field coming out, you see the bend, it's the field flow. So the way we do it and the way it's been done, it's this way. It doesn't matter how you call it. The winding for the coils, you place it in your drill. If you have a, a screwdriver, other people who use the screwdrivers, you hold your screwdriver and you turn backwards with your screwdriver. That's all it is. The turning of the coil is, of the beam, is anti-clockwise and that's what we're looking for. That's what is called anti-clockwise turning. You turn your screwdriver or if you have a machine, you put it, you face the wire towards yourself and the machine builds up to the numbers you need. So 
this is the coils, you call it whatever we've taken with this way, any question about the winding is clockwise, anti-clockwise, out of the equation. So straightforward, put it in, put your bar, assemble your, or push your end of wire into it, and just turn the drill as you are going reverse.